Hi, my name is Steve Murphy with Teledyne LaCroix. I'm here today at Sailing Company located in Rochester, New York, and we're going over features of the HDO 4000 High Definition Digital Oscilloscope. And uh, one of the tools is, uh, is being able to access the scope remotely. And one of the tools to do that is with a, like a VNC connection. So I'm just going to show you just quickly some, uh, you know, a way uh, to do that. So what I have here is the, the uh, this is the HDO 4104. And this is the mixed signal, so I've got some analog, an analog channel and digital channels display. And what I like to do is control this and, and view different things uh, on the scope, but do it all uh, remotely. So what I've done is I've, uh, on the side, this is an embedded uh, uh, PC. It is uh, PC based. And I've taken a uh, wireless uh, USB to Ethernet adapter and plugged it into the side. And then when I go ahead and let's Let's uh, go to uh, windowed so you see the scope application running on Windows 7 on this uh, PC. And what I've done is uh, um, now that that driver was all set and I'm communicating um, with, the, uh, with, with that uh, adapter, uh, I've now got a sample here. I've got an AT&T um, wireless um, modem. And so I have now connected. I gave it the, 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 the password uh, to the scope. And so we're now communicating with my, uh, my AT&T uh, uh, modem. And, uh, and then now what I'd like to do is control the scope and view things on something like an iPad or even on my iPhone. And so I have my iPhone. It's connected not to this but actually to the LTE uh, cell cell tower uh, network. So um, uh, and so on the scope. What I'm going to do is to establish the communication. I'm going to go to. I'm using Team Viewer. I like it because it's uh, pretty responsive. And what it does is it gives me. It sets up a uh, ID and password that I'm going to tell on my iPhone when I've launched my Team Viewer application. Uh, I can go ahead and put in that ID and password. And if we're successful. Uh, we're going to be able to see my screen and control the scope through my little old iPhone here. So let's give it a whirl. I got the ID and it used the same ID. Awesome. So now I go in and it's connecting now to the scope. And it's saying connecting to my partner. And it says go ahead and put in your partner's, the scope's, uh, password 2373, 2373, and hit OK. And now my team viewer icon is up. I've connected. I'm looking good. And I am now using and connected right to the scope. I'm going to shut this and maximize my scope and get the team viewer out of the way. And so we can see that we have a direct match here. And we can uh, go ahead and see details. And we're going to, you can see it on the screen. You see a little connection here where we can say, hey, file, uh, lab notebook, uh, would you please, uh, oh, I don't know, launch. Uh, oh, I'm a power guy. I like switch mode power. Let's go ahead and show uh, Ripple. And I'm going to flash back this uh, to show us power supplies, Ripple measurements uh, that I acquired. And here we go. I'm going to close this down here. But all of the display is right here on, on, the, on my uh, uh, iPhone app. I'm controlling the scope remotely. So this could be back at your office, and you could be using your iPad or a computer and uh, accessing the scope through a wireless uh, uh, network. All pretty easy to do. Uh, keep in mind, too, that there is, if you want to access this through uh, Ethernet directly and do remote controls using LabVIEW drivers, and uh, um, uh, it's plenty, plenty of tools to, uh, uh, to work and do remote control command, uh, control through formal remote programming or through, you know, applications uh, uh, like this through the Internet. So uh, mo more tools to make the scope a useful uh, tool for uh, confirming circuit validation and, uh, and um, documentation. So please call uh, Sailig Company in Rochester to get more details. Thanks for your interest.